Hello friends, welcome to Homegrown Florida and today is the day where I'm going to show you how this Arrow Garden Farm has been doing for me. It has now been 60 days since I was gifted this beautiful product by my mom. I love you mom. <laughs> been watching my channel you know about two months ago we did an unboxing video on this guy right here this is the Arrow Garden Farm 24 XL if you haven't seen that video yet I'm gonna put it up right there you can go ahead and click on it now or at the end of the video I'll also put it down in the description so that you can see the full unboxing and setup of this guy but today what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you a breakdown on how it's been going so this is its growth after 60 days and I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly, just like I always do. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you all of my feedback on what I think about the farm and whether or not it's actually worth it. So the first thing that I noticed about the Arrow Garden farm, particularly these larger size models, are that they come with a lot more technology. They are so easy to use and you guys know me I have a harvest in the arrow garden harvest I say it's so easy anybody can grow vegetables and you can well this takes it to a whole new level the technology in here particularly the screen up here and the app that comes along with it has a significant amount of cool features that will keep you from ever failing in this process <laughs> So the two cool technology pieces to this Arrow Garden that I like is number one, this Arrow Garden and the app give you reminders and tips. So if you have just started with Arrow Garden and you're putting down the domes for the germination, you might forget to take the domes off. Well, this guy right here is going to tell you when to take the domes off. It's going to tell you when the flowers of the tomatoes are starting and how to pollinate them. It's going to tell you what to do with the tomatoes and when to pick them. I mean, it really, really breaks down when to harvest, when to water, when to pollinate, all those cultivation type things that must be done. And it reminds you on that app through notifications on your phone, as well as here on the display. The other thing that I think is pretty cool about this is it has what's called smart germination. And so each one of these sides are their own independent pumps, their own independent lights. So if I tell the Arrow Garden that I'm growing herbs or lettuce on this side, and I tell it I'm growing tomatoes or peppers on this side, it will use a different pump and light settings based on what you are actually growing in each side. And you can set them separately. And it knows exactly what the plants need to germinate based on the type of item that you're putting in there. And that's all done from the display when you first set it up. That number one was very cool. It actually increased germination rates, which I thought was not even possible because <laughs> germination rates in the arrow gardens are so good that I didn't think you could actually get better, but you do. <laughs> you, it does actually get better, it gets faster, and they are stronger seedlings. Now the one downside to all this technology has been the screen display. And so because there's two sides and they work independently, you have to know which side you're on because it's not displaying both of the sides on the screen at one time. It's only displaying one side or the other. So you have to bounce back and forth in between them. But once you get the hang of that, pretty much everything else is completely easy. The other cool thing about it that I really love about the technology is if I am away on vacation, this has a vacation mode. It has a mode to turn the lights on and off from away from home to turn the pump on and off away from home when it goes into vacation mode it slows down the light and the pump to slow the plants down <laughs> so that they use less water less nutrients and they are not um, harvesting or becoming ready for harvest too soon before you get back and i mean that is crazy but very cool 
Probably the biggest disadvantage of the Arrow Garden Farm is the height. You see, this guy is, is pretty tall. He's a little over three feet tall. And I will say this, if you're looking at the three models of the farm that comes in the Plus, the XL, and the Basic, I can't imagine that you would need anything above the XL and certainly not the Plus, right? So the Basic comes up to 12 inches, so it's about halfway in between here so it's about right there and then the xl goes up another 12 and then the plus goes up another 12. let me tell you right now that when you're growing stuff like these hydroponic tomatoes or the lettuces i honestly don't see a need to even go above the 12 inches now it's nice with herbs and with some taller peppers to be able to use the XL to go up a little bit higher, but I don't ever expect that I am going to push these lights all the way to the top. So this is just kind of wasted dead space for me. So if you wanted to go with a cheaper option, I think the basic would be really all you need. And at worst case, the XL, knowing that you're gonna lose a little bit of space right here, that's kind of dead space. Now let's talk about probably one of the biggest negatives. I don't know if you happen to notice here, but there's some issues with these plants. The tomatoes have definitely some spots on the leaves. Believe it or not, it's actually getting better. This was far worse before. And then the lettuce here, there's two things going on here. There is something called tip burn, which is uh, something common in hydroponic systems. And then there is also just, this is getting pretty old. This lettuce has already been cut three times. Uh, we're gonna do its fourth cut today. And so it's on its way out. But the tip burn was quite extensive in the very beginning, causing some issues and probably, you know, causing this decline in the plant's health which is why I didn't get more than maybe three or this kind of three and a half cut from it. And here, let me tell you why. Number one, the liquid plant food that they send you, it's quite strong. And while yes, it's gonna make your plants grow super fast, it's also gonna do something else, which is it's gonna do a fertilizer burn, uh, particularly a nitrogen burn on these plants. And I saw that. So what I did was I actually backed it down to half. So on the bottle here, it says on the 12 pods, which is what we're using here, we have 12 pods here, 12 pods here to make a combined 24 pod. It says to use four cap fills at the start and then six cap fills every refill, which is every two weeks. This burned my plants. I split it down to half. So I do two capfuls when I get started and I do three at every, free, every feeding time. And that seemed to help with the burn. But one thing it didn't help with was the tip burn. So that's a little bit different. Tip burn, which is also very similar, well, the cause of it is very similar to blossom and rot, is because there's a magnesium calcium deficiency. And so the tip burn and the blossom and rot that I was experiencing along with these weird silver yellowish spots on the leaves all kind of led me to believe that this stuff does not contain everything that these plants need. I think it's fair that, you know, one, you know, fertilizer isn't gonna give these plants everything it needs. So I did a bunch of research and I played with it and I found this stuff, which is Cal, Cali Magic, Cal Mag. There's a bunch of different kinds, but they're all pretty much the same here. It's a calcium, magnesium, uh, hydroponic system, liquid fertilizer. It's not, let me rephrase that, it's not really a fertilizer, it's more like an amendment. So a very tiny amount, I mean, it's a, it's a teaspoon that goes in each one of these, <laughs> a teaspoon. It's gonna take me my lifetime to go through this bottle, but you know, if you have more than I do, or you have a larger system, or you're rotating a lot of crops, or maybe you just wanna use it outside, this isn't necessarily just for hydroponics, you could use it outside. But by adding the CalMag to these, was an immediate improvement. I've been patiently waiting and recording and taking care of these plants for two months. So do me a big favor and go down and hit that like button for me so that this video can share with lots more people. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this lettuce that I have here. It's 
So one thing that's a little bit different between the XL farms than like your typical Arrow Garden Harvest and Bounty is that down here, right in the center, there is this little plug, right? And this leads into the pump and you can take the hose that's on the side that comes along with this and plug this right in here into the pump and it just gently goes in there like so and then you can go to the menu option to pump out the water. Pumping out the water is actually super important. I do this every two to four weeks in my regular Arrow Garden Harvest but here in the Arrow Garden Farm I do it every month. And I basically just take this hose and run it from here up here where my sink is right on the other side. If you don't have your sink close by, you can also just run it to a bucket and it will completely empty out all the water that is in here without you having to like lift this out and dump it and all those not so much fun things that we have to do with our regular area gardens. It completely pumps that water out and you can put fresh new water and plant food and that is a really great way to keep your hydroponic plants super healthy. The last thing I wanted to share with you before we go ahead and replant this with all new lettuce is the customer service. So when I first got this product, everything went perfectly. Setup was perfect. I mean, there was, if you guys watched the last video, you know that the, the connecting to the Wi-Fi took a minute. It was a couple tries, but then it worked fine and everything has worked perfect since then. But I did notice about a month into the process that my sunrise function, which is basically these lights slowly come on and slowly come off in order to mimic natural daylight for the plants. I don't really know if that's good for the plants or not, <laughs> but it can't be bad, right? But my sunlight setting wasn't working and for what this guy costs, everything should work. So I had to experience the customer service side of it. I reached out to Arrow Garden Customer Service and let me tell you, they were prompt. I mean, within 24 hours on a weekend, I actually heard back from them. They gave me two sets of troubleshooting to do. I did the two sets of troubleshooting and it worked. I, I guess it just got out of sync at some point. You know, there's a lot of technology in this guy and it got out of sync. And by resetting it, it basically, you know, did the sunrise again. But then they also offered me not knowing <laughs> that I'm doing this review. They have no idea that I'm doing it. I'm not associated with them. They're not sponsoring this. I'm just going to throw that out there. I just like the product. Uh, they offered to replace it. They really wanted to make sure that I was happy with my purchase and they didn't really ask for a lot. They wanted to know where I ordered it from, the order number and um, a picture of, you know, the, the serial number on it. And that was it. They were super, super helpful and you don't even have to buy it from their site, the aerogarden.com site. My mom got this guy through Amazon and I'll leave the link to this down below if you're interested in it. But she got it from Amazon and they, their, you know, manufacturing warranty extends to wherever you purchased it from. Although I'm not sure it would work if you purchased it from an individual. So do I love it? Yes. I still love my Arrow Garden Farm. It is by far one of the coolest indoor hydroponic systems that I have seen or experienced. The technology is top notch. I absolutely love it. There are some downsides, you know, the technology isn't completely glitch free as we noticed with the sunrise sunset option, as well as, like I said, there's a lot of wasted space here that I don't think was necessary and certainly is not necessary if you get the bigger version. <laughs> Besides all that, I mean, I can't say that there's anything wrong with it. I have a huge amount of lettuce and herbs that I've got to get in the refrigerator. I've got tomatoes coming in back here. I'm about to seed some more lettuce in time for, you know, the hot weather that's going on outside right here in Florida. Yeah, I love it. I would totally have gotten it again. And uh, I think you guys are going to love it too. Thanks so much for watching. Happy gardening guys. <music>